All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, spent the last couple of days in Victoria. We're back at home in the makeshift garage gym. It's sad because I used to have this really cool, much bigger garage gym last summer, but I had to take that down. So I'm only left with like a couple of weights and a barbell here now, no more rack. And yeah, the garage does look a little bit different than it did in, I think, December. You know, my dad's car is back in the garage and his like workshop is behind me. So there's a lot of stuff and the garage isn't that big. Like we have some neighbors that have much bigger garages. Um, but yeah, our ceiling's really low, so it just gets really crammed. But that's not gonna stop me from having a great leg day. You guys saw me do chest and back at the hotel gym the past couple days. I took yesterday off. I was a traveling, traveling back home. This morning, woke up, slow start. It's reading week, by the way, for me. So I got a week off school, so I'm back home. So yeah, I woke up, bit of a slow start. Wasn't feeling the best. There's a little bug going around in my family. I think I caught it. So yeah, woke up, make sure I was staying hydrated, took a nice cold shower, followed by a nice hot shower. Feel a lot better. The plan is to get uh, a leg day in and then go for a nice walk, get some fresh air. Forgetting what else I was gonna say. Yeah, I did the warm up. Warm up is now done. Uh, just a lot of, you know, getting ready, getting the legs ready. And also use the, uh, I have a assault bike right here. All right, so I'll just show you the equipment that I have available. So I got a bunch of free weights. I got some more as well. I got some bigger plates, some dumbbells. Here's my like 2005 assault bike. Super nice for warming up. Then I have an adjustable bench and a barbell, rusty barbell that is not straight either. But yeah, like I said, leg day. So the focus first is going to be some hamstrings. We'll do some deadlifts and some RDLs. And then after that, there's not much else I can do. So maybe I'll do some dumbbell RDLs. Uh, then we'll focus on quads. Quads, we can do some squat as well as some Bulgarian split squats, you know, the favorite exercise. So unfortunately, it's just going to be those exercises today. Um, I still think I can go to get a great pump in and I like working out with the doors open. So yeah, um, any suggestions for any workouts, any other videos you want me to make, let them know. Let me know in the comments below and let's get started. Oh yeah, and I'll make a, uh, I'll do another voiceover video just because, not voiceover, I'll do like a mic'd up video because if I do a voiceover, the video will be like two minutes long because I'll just, I'm not doing much else today. It's my sister's graduation, so I'm going out for dinner tonight. My goodness, this is a long intro. <laughs> So now I'm remembering what I wanted to say a couple minutes ago, but now let's get started. All right, so yeah, please do not mind the mess in the garage. I'm sure my parents would not be happy that I'm <laughs> showing all of this, but I need to get a workout in and I wanna film it. Now, hopefully the mic, like when I work out, the mic moves around a lot. So I hope the audio is not too messed up. Also, when you work out in a garage gym, especially in the winter, even though it's not that cold, all the metal plates and dumbbells and barbell are really cold when you start working out. It's just like one thing that you never consider when you work it. All right, so I'm a doofus and I forgot to empty out some of my storage. So halfway through the clip, ran out of storage, stopped recording. I think I talked for like two minutes after that. I think the last thing I said was that the barbell gets really cold. Yeah, in the winter, I worked out in like minus 10, it was really cold. And then I just did a couple warm up exercises like this, like this, and then some deadlifts. And then I talked about how there's not that much room in the garage and the barbell almost doesn't fit, but I have to work out this way and not this way because the garage slopes this way to make it even. I have to go here, man. I'm, I've been dealing with storage issues for so long now. I need to buy a hard drive to back up some of the stuff on my computer because my computer is full too now. That's what happens when you make like 65 daily vlogs that are all over five minutes long. All of a sudden you just have so much footage that you need to manage and no one ever teaches you how to manage the footage properly. So, you know, learning by fire, learning through fire, whatever the saying is. Okay, so my dad left, which means I have now the entire garage, which is nice. Um, so I moved over here because it's just got a little bit more room. 
and I have put on a hat, and I hope that didn't just hit the mic, um, because the, the hat helps uh, keep the microphone in the same spot no matter how I turn my head, and when I bend over a lot with the barbell, it, uh, it gets really noisy, but I'm just sweeping to make the, the deadlift platform a little bit better. All right, so I'm still warming up. Um, it took me forever in high school to learn how to deadlift properly. And despite my long limbs, I've never been good at it. And I don't do that much. And I hope to do it more this summer. It's just not in my training plan right now. Mostly, I mostly just do RDLs, which we'll do after some heavy sets of deadlifts. Got some mini hockey sticks right there to help keep the bar from falling falling down. I've actually had it fall all the way down the driveway and across the street before. Good thing there's no cars coming. Haven't done deadlifts in a long time, so we'll just I got 225 on the bar and I'll just do this I think for five reps uh, just to see. I do want to go like higher reps, not heavier weight. But this should be pretty heavy. I mean, I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Four. That was heavy. So you might have noticed that I haven't been running as much, and that's because my shins still really hurt. Um, ever since that eight kilometer run on Thursday, it's Tuesday now, I still haven't been right. I feel like with shin splints, if you like push too far, it just takes like a bit of time to get back to the same baseline. And pretty much every morning and every night, I'll do like 10 minutes of uh, like rehab, just focusing on my foot strength, my calf strength, to be out of strength, just trying to figure out where the weakness is and try to fix it. Um, I'm gonna do some walking today, uh, just to keep moving. And then maybe tomorrow morning, if it's good, I'll start doing like maybe like two minutes on, two minutes off walking and running. Just to like slowly build myself up. It's so annoying having to do this, but I just, shin splints are an overuse injury. So you have to treat it properly, which means that like going, like taking it back, taking your training back and then slowly increasing it again. It's just so frustrating, but injuries are part of the process. And you know, you just like, if in the end I figure out, then hopefully I won't be dealing with this in the future. Yeah, a couple more seconds and I'll do another set here. Okay, so I lied. I can't do any higher reps. I just did five reps again last set. And I'll do five reps again here. I think that'll be good for deadlifts. I'll move on to RDLs then because I haven't done them in so long. And I don't want to injure myself. But it's like a good weight where I still feel like I'm working something. But let's see, there's something else I wanted to say. Yeah, um, so I'm following that 12-week program. Obviously, um, this week has been a little bit different, so I've just decided to take the to take a week off the program, and I'll just start again when I get back to school. Um, so it'll it'll effectively be 13 weeks long, just with like a deload week in between. Not the best. I'm still obviously working out. It's just not following the exact uh, exercises because I don't have access to a bunch of the machines. Um, so this is just easiest. I'll keep working out every day. It's just. Um, We'll come back to it. Same with the 75 hard. I, I kept saying I was going to do the reading. I haven't even done the reading, man. But I've marked it all down. 
Um, and I haven't waking up so late. Oh, just, yeah, when I'm a little bit sick, I don't want to not get enough sleep. I just got to go to bed early enough. But what you're hearing is a lot of excuses, and it's just me not being disciplined enough. It's the, uh, it's just the hard truth. But one more set. Deadlifts are done, moving over to RDLs, um, about 135 on the bar. I'm just going to do this for like 15 reps, so yeah, high reps. Um, I'll do it for like two sets and then I'll move over to the dumbbells. Uh, let's see what else, yeah, I've just been chilling. Those deadlifts were much harder than I was expecting. I have not gone heavy, low rep in a while. Also, you can see that my barbell it's so crooked I have to like line it up and I'm not used to this barbell um, I do prefer it though over the one that's in the other gyms that I work out at filming videos um like last year i was so nervous to talk but the garage door is open and now i don't care it's much easier and i'm much more comfortable doing it <sighs> making the dumbbells is one of the hardest things to do in the home gym so I, I have here some 70 pound dumbbells. It took me like, I'm not even kidding, five minutes to make these. Um, I put them on a, on a different handle that I have and it was too small. So I had to move them all and it, it takes forever. And it's like a full working set too. But yeah, 70 pound dumbbells. I'm gonna do some RDLs now. I was aiming for 12 there. All right, so hamstrings are done. Moving on to quads now. Yippee, this is gonna be tough. Doing dumbbell and barbell only workouts. One, not only do they take forever, but two, they are like way more taxing I find than like if you were in a gym. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna start off with some lunges with the 70s. Um, hopefully I can do a couple reps with them. I'm just being lazy and I don't want to make them smaller. The 70s were too heavy. Too, too heavy. The 70s were too heavy. The 70s were too heavy. So I've gone down to 55 now. And I only did one set per leg with the lunges. I didn't like it very much, so I'm doing Bulgarian split squats. And I gotta get this workout over. Like having to rebuild the weight 
and moving all the equipment. It takes like, like over 10 minutes, so it actually adds up over time. But yeah, two to three sets just to get the quads burning. And then I wanna go for a walk or dog sitting right now. So I really wanna take that dog out to the woods. Okay. Oh. One, two, five, nine, ten. God damn. Oh. All right, so this workout has been an hour and three minutes. And I just, I can't, like the ball game is much squats because the bench is a little bit higher. It's not the easiest. And I just don't feel like I'm getting a good, like stretch and extension of my quad muscles. Not much of a pump today either. So I'm just gonna finish off with 30 reps. A barbell back squat with the heel elevated. And then I'll just get going. Like I need to, I need to eat still. That's always burns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, thirty. Ooh. Okay. That'll do it. So again, thanks for, thanks for watching. This has been Josh in the makeshift garage home gym. I'll probably film a little more clips tonight. Tack them on at the end. Let me know if you have any suggestions or you like, disliked, and I'll see you. All right, camera ran out, no, phone ran out of storage yet again, but I'm out for a little walk. A little furry friend in Milo. Um, I don't know what got cut off, but yeah, any suggestions, leave them below. Thanks for watching. This has been another video workout. Josh in the makeshift garage gym, but he's now in the forest. And I'll see you guys next time.